Today is Monday. It's October the 31st, 2022. The title of today's devotional is The Purpose of the Law and the Promise of God's Grace. Now, our scripture reading is Romans chapter 4. Now, Paul's epistle to believers living in Rome established in chapter 3 the universal sinfulness of man. And yet there were some of Abraham's lineage who placed their hope of salvation in their kinship with that Old Testament patriarch, that is, with Abraham. Now to them, Paul declared in Romans chapter 2 and verse 11, there is no respect of persons with God. Now the children of Israel were God's chosen people and privileged to be given his law and commandments. Nevertheless, Paul declared in Romans 3 and verse 20, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his, that is in God's sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Now, if obedience to the law does not justify, meaning to be declared righteous in the sight and judgment of God, so if obedience to the law does not justify, then by what means might a sinner be forgiven his sins? Now, we cannot merit salvation by good works or adherence to the law. And therefore, salvation is an act of God's grace and favor, according to Romans 3 and verse 24, through the redemption that is provided by or in Christ Jesus. Now, a believer then is justified not by works, but by faith and not by the deeds of the law. Now, that brings us today to Romans chapter 4, and I invite you to open your Bible and follow. Uh, Now, there were Jews, you see, who resisted Paul's teachings concerning faith, and they supposed he was teaching a new doctrine, uh, a new way of salvation, and they believed their salvation was based upon circumcision and in keeping the law. Now, Paul countered their false beliefs and stated Abraham's relationship with God was not based upon his works, but upon his faith in God's promises, Romans 4 and verse 1 and 2. In fact, as you read Romans chapter 4 and verse 3, we see regarding Abraham that he believed God and his faith was counted unto him for righteousness. What did he believe regarding God? He believed God's promises. Now, Paul goes on, as you look again further in Romans chapter 4 and looking at verse 6. Paul gives a second example in the argument for salvation by grace through faith, and that was King David. Now, David understood, as you look at Psalm 32, verse 1 and 2, David understood the importance of faith and believed a sinner enjoyed God's favor by faith. And the word says, for God imputed, that is, credits to one's account, righteousness, verse 6, without works. Now, we know that the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. And yet one's sins are covered, and the sin debt paid in full by what? By the gift of God's grace. Now, even with that, there were still some who believed Abraham was justified before God by circumcision and in keeping the law. And so as you come to verse 11, Paul reminded them before Abraham even received the sign of circumcision, which was at 86 years of age, that he was already sealed by the righteousness of the faith, verse 11. Indeed, Abraham was not only the father of the Jews, but he is the spiritual father of all them that believe, according to verse 11. You see, before the law and the commandments were given to Israel, Abraham believed God and was declared righteous. Well, a closing thought. What purpose, then, does the law serve? I want to present to you three observations regarding the law and the commandments. The first is this, that the law reveals God's perfect standard of holiness, which every man should aspire to keep. And yet the law also demands punishment for the transgressor, for all have sinned. And then thirdly, while the law does not save, it shows a sinner his need of a savior. Well, as it was for Abraham, 
So it is for all sinners. As you read Romans chapter 4, verses 18 through 25. Well, because of the law, we are convinced and convicted of our sins. And we find salvation by faith, not in our works, not in keeping the law, but in God's grace. Well, I'm going to close with Romans 5 and verse 1, where we read, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Who is he? He is the law incarnate. God bless you. Thank you for joining me as uh, we continue to broadcast from this uh, uh, part of a farmhouse dated 1840. Our background will change in a couple of days as we move on in our travels. Thank you so much for joining me today and God bless. Bye-bye.